video, I will show you how to unvolt your laptop CPU. For this, first you need to install Intel X Studio from the Intel site or just do a Google search. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link in the description for you. You can just download from that site. It will be better if you download just from the Intel site, not from any other site. Or you can get a boltware. After downloading, you have to install it. Uh, let it load. The internet connection is slow here. so while it is installing I'll tell you why you should undervolt and what is undervolting well, let's start with what is undervolting your laptop CPU it is designed uh, it is designed for a certain voltage but that voltage is generally greater than voltage at which your CPU should work so after a certain time so after a certain time of using your CPU at a intensively uh, it will start to get heated up and it will throttle down you will see like thermal throttling or power limit throttling to stop the throttling we use undervolting in undervolting we are giving less voltage less voltage than the applied voltage so that uh, the less voltage is applied to the CPU and less heat is generated and you should undervolt it but it's a risky task if you undervolt for a long period of time like three or four days it may seriously damage your cpu so it's recommended only undervolt when needed and only for short durations of time be sure to restart it once before starting this app you should just uh, restart from the app only so now it's loaded here i have to uh, open the intel xtu you can use other apps also like there is throttle stop but that is not complicated x2 is the easiest one this is a dell g3 we have it has intel i7 it's 1050 h with gtx 1050 it heats up a lot when we game dell g3 cooling is not so good if you want to game for long hours it heats up now you have to go to the advanced settings and choose i agree or i agree i agree don't show again it doesn't matter you can choose anyone now you have to choose the core voltage offset not the voltage be sure to choose the core voltage offset and choose sure to choose the negative voltage don't choose the positive voltage as it will give more voltage through the cpu which we don't want we don't we want to give less voltage so you have to choose the less voltage like this is the wrong one you have to choose minus yes minus voltages uh, it's in mini volts for my laptop i got it around minus 110 volts i got, i was getting good performance in this range so i'm using this voltage now if you want you can save it and change saving it as test1 test.1 save now you have to do benchmarking through this app only it will be better if you benchmark through this lab and don't go to other apps from here you can do the benchmarking now again go to the advanced tuning and change the undervolt value by 5 millivolts like I am making it again to 0 here for the H series it will be better if you start from somewhere around minus 80 millivolts and for U series it's somewhere around minus 60 millivolts at that uh, from that point you should get a considerable increase in performance now like it's minus 65 millivolts minus 70 millivolts you should do experiments at every 5 millivolts it will it will be much better at some point you will get the you will get the proper uh, voltage offset at which you will get the most performance. Now if you want to go to have these uh, default values, go to profiles, set default, apply and save it. You will have the de uh, default values. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like it or thumbs down if you don't. And be sure to subscribe to this channel for more awesome content and reviews. And drop down any suggestions if you have.